Oh. Me. Why me? What I do? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm you. You'll me. Would you though? I think I would. Yeah, I appreciate can you, it. Can you get your number? Nah, I'm cool on it. She recognized. She see what she like. Though. I f with it. I f with the confidence though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm about, I f with the confidence. Yeah, I'm gonna come in that shit all day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He can get my number if he wants it. I'm being thirsty. The man calling you right now. Oh. 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 God damn. We caught him, man. We caught him. We caught her. She out there being thirsty, get rejected, and her boyfriend is calling her. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I had to pull over because I'm just like, I don't want to like cause crashes because I'm just so rooted right now. So, <laughs> the man that I've been messing with is a married man, and, he, and every night, well, for about three nights in a row, or even maybe there's a night in between, I was licking his butthole. Yep. Because he liked it. And I didn't mind doing it. Does that, does that bother? Does, is that weird? Yeah. And that is what demons do. So I, we drove all the way down to New. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Did she call herself a demon? Did she say she's a demon because she look, she looked booty hole? Okay. Um, if y'all don't know who she is, uh, that's the lady that used to be on Orange Is the New Black, and I think she was on Eight Mile too. She's like, she's famous. She look a little strung out right now. I hope, you know what I'm saying? I hope she's seeking help with somebody's seeking to help her. But let us let us continue. Because she's letting us know that she like to eat do, the doodle shooter. For a beach today so I could buy him a boat. <laughs> I was so in love, so I thought. So I could buy this gentleman a boat. And I, and I brought cash to put a down payment down. Like, I really loved him. I was like, yeah, it's like, we're into the same thing. Like, we're kinky, blah, blah, blah. And his wife, because he's married, and I feel so bad because not, not I, I can't stand her. <laughs> I can't stand her, her his wife. Because she wasn't even like, wait, what? You've been messing with my man? She said, you lunatic, you get out of my life or I'll... I'll Get an RO on you. <laughs> R R no, I'll put your ass in jail. Anyway, so I've been licking your man's butthole for weeks on end because he he likes it a lot, and I do it to him, and he comes to me, and it happens. <laughs> 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 and it's, that's a lot. I know it's a lot of information, but I'm the lunatic, right? No, I'm just single very single and he came to me so you don't accuse me of being a lunatic but I'll tell you one thing lady you want to put me in jail I'll put you in jail so fast your head will be spinning don't you ever threaten me and I will I will show you how I do don't you ever threaten me when your husband came to me to get his butthole licked don't you ever threaten me again Leanne you dumbass. What are you thinking? I cannot believe you. You've lost it. Not I. <laughs> Not I. I brought your husband to Newport Beach. We drove all the way together. We had so much fun. He had his hand on my leg the whole time. Most of the time, finger banging me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie anymore about, about it. You know, I had no one to root on. And... And every time, look in his fingers, and you're, to buy him a boat, to buy him a boat. And all day we went on a boat, the boat that he wants. And I was going to buy it for him. And then he messed up real bad today. And you're coming after me. No, nah, it ain't going to happen, lady. You made a huge mistake in the name of. You're dusted. Dusted. I ain't scared of you. You should be scared of me. Alright, in all seriousness, she should seek help. But, 
to summarize the video, and what I'm getting from the video is, she's letting Leanne know that she fucked up the bag. You fucked up the bag. All you had to do was Leanne was turn a blind eye to the fact that this lady who seemed might she might be on some some crack, she might be on something, but she's famous. You know what I'm saying? And she get into that bag. She was getting to that bag and she was willing to buy your husband whatever he wanted. Damn. I gotta ask my wife this. I gotta, hold on. I gotta ask her. If a, if a rich crackhead was giving me the box and she was willing to change our life. Hello. Hey, hey, Danae. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I have a question. What's up? Why don't you just listen to this question, right? So, yes. if a famous actress, right, mm -hmm. was, was, uh, was, was giving me the, was giving me the box, and on top of giving me the box, she was, she was willing to buy me whatever I wanted. Would you would you let me smash? No. Damn. For real? Yeah, for real. Not even a little bit. What do I have to gain from her fucking you? What if she's willing to take care of the family? You a man. That's your job. And me putting in the work by giving her the wood was, was you know, that's all the work I had to put in. That's a job of a... I could do that. Would you like if I did that? What? Hmm? Huh? Huh? The fuck you said? Yeah, that's how you said But you're not a man. You just told me I was the man I was supposed to take care of the family. So Yeah, but if you if you're using your sexual organ to get money from somebody, I could do that too. Like But you're not the man of the family. When I say you're the man that mean I want you to go out and get it, like using I what that was you, shit. You know, I, your creative ways, not like your sexual organ. I can be, I wouldn't respect that. I can be creative with my sexual organ. What you talking about? I wouldn't I wouldn't respect that and I wouldn't respect you as a man. Oh, all right. All right. And then she'd be the only person you getting pussy from. You said what? Well, if I, I said she'd be the only person you getting pussy from. And I said if whoever else, but you wouldn't be fucking me. Oh, all right. I, I just had to double check. Why you asking that? I just seen a video. <laughs> I just seen a video. This chick, yo, you remember Orange is a New Black? Yeah. You remember the the the, the chick that had the messed up teeth? I know. I seen she went viral for something, but I ain't looking for. Yeah, bro. She, I think she strung out, man. She might be on some crack, but basically, she was she was messing with some guy and he was married, and like she was eating his ass and doing all that. And she, uh. she, yeah, she was eating the ass, man. She was out there licking that doodle shooter. But um, she she bought this man to to buy a boat. She was gonna buy him a boat, and then I guess his wife came down there and messed it up. And she basically, from what I got gathered from the video, is like she was telling the wife whose name is Leanne, like Leanne, you you fucked it up. I was I was finna take care of shit, and you fucked it up. She wanna be a man so bad. I don't think she want to be a man. I just think uh, homie was 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 uh, playing his part because I don't know how he was out there just. That's nigga shit. You about to pay? You have a whole vagina. You out here paying for sexual pleasure? You're dumb. Like, why would you be paying a man to turn him out? You can't turn a nigga out because you a woman. You have to pay him to do it. Something's not right with that picture. Why do you want to be? Why you, why you want to have that level of control? She's a man. Because she on crack. She want to be a man. She a masculine crackhead. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, say less. Where you at, man? I'm hungry, yeah. I'm about to turn 
on Peachtree right now. All right, I'm gonna see you in a few. Okay. Can you can you open the door for me? I'm, I have it unlocked. I'm here. working. Alright. Alright. Damn, I thought she was gonna change her mind. When they tell you men cannot take what they dish out, look at my iPad. This is for texting. And I, I shouldn't be texting. Like. Big ass hole in the fucking wall. That hole ain't that big. Rip all my clothes. All my clothes that was hung up, ripped down. Took all my shoe box. What the fuck my shoes? What did my shoes do to you? What did my shoes do to you? Why do my shoes have to be thrown on the floor like this? Like, niggas really cannot take what they be dishing out. And it's so sad. Like, this man literally cheated on me so many freaking times. I never touched any of... I might have touched him, but I never touched none of his stuff. And you see me text one dude, one freaking dude, and look at my stuff. Look at my stuff. I ain't even wore the... 90% of the stuff that's on this floor, I haven't even fucking worn. Haven't even fucking worn. And look how this man threw my shit all over the place. Threw my shit, smashed my iPad, put a hole in the freaking wall, because I texted. And I ain't gonna lie. This is men's stuff worldwide. What You might do a little flirting. You might do a little cheating. You know, a cheating ain't little, but you might do a little cheating, bro. Let you see some random dude... Just over liking too many of your girl pictures on Instagram. You ready to turn into goddamn Osama Bin Laden, dog? You ready to blow some shit up? It be all fun and games when when these little hoes be giving you attention, but let some you peep some random giving your woman some attention. Hey, yo, who that's, huh? Huh? Put it this way, for me, I don't be on top of shit like that, but like if I notice it. That means that the dude is getting disrespectful. You know, at one point in time, I used to be like, just, yo, niggas better not look at my woman. You better not speak to my woman. You better not call my woman. You better not, I don't give a f And then I got over that. So now I'm at the point where I understand I got a beautiful woman. I, got a, I understand I got a beautiful wife. So based on that, I move accordingly. But if I notice something, if I notice, if I notice a dude, that means like he's being disrespectful. Let me tell you why I can feel the way I feel. Because my wife does facials. A lot of her clients are females and males. She have a lot of male clients. And with her having a lot of male clients, they be having to contact her and call her and book their appointments and call her to buy products and do all that. Call her to get advice on certain things because Oh, hey, I'm about to go on tour with such and such and such, and I'm not going to be able to um, come in. Is there? Do you have any suggestions of certain things I should do to maintain my face? Like, she be having to carry them type of conversations with them dudes. So it's like, I can't get mad and be like, who's this nigga you talking to? Who's this dude texting you at, at fucking 9 in the, at, at night asking you this? Who's this? Who's that? I can't do that. So if I... For, if, if I... If I notice you, right? If I notice you, that means you're doing something disrespectful. Hopefully that makes sense. If I can pick you out of the bunch, that means you're doing something disrespectful. 